Trev's Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. And that's still too sweet. So anyway. Coming, continuing again, the year-end awards. And yeah, it was, it was a very close race. Right down to the last day. I mean, essentially, it could have been the day before, but, you know, for officiality's sake, the last day of the season. And Nikita Kucherov, as expected, is walking away with his second Art Ross trophy. Let's talk about it. So, this year's race for the Art Ross, which is awarded annually to the player who scores the most points in the regular season, was a pretty neck-and-neck -neck race between Kucherov and Nathan McKinnon. A lot of it was thanks to, in large part, last year and six-time winner Connor McDavid started off the season slow, and by the time he finally did make some ground at catching up, there was no catching Kucherov or McKinnon beyond that point. So, it, it was almost almost a pretty easy race. Now, along the way to setting career highs in all offensive categories, which included 44 goals, one of which was his 300th goal against the Florida Panthers. He was also the second player this season and the fifth player in league history to record 100 assists in a season. Now, two in a season is pretty hard, but, I mean, it hasn't been done since 1988-89 when Gretzky and Lemieux both accomplished it and finished the season with 114 each. So, the, the rarity of it all, and, I mean, the fact that he's the fifth player on there and, you know, Gretzky's done it 11 times, every other player's done it once, it's, it's some pretty good company to be hanging out with. Now, those 100 assists alone are also a league record for assists by a winger and also included his 500th career, career assist against the Minnesota Wild in January. And his 144 points, again, are not only a career high, but also a team record, which smashed the old team record of 128 set by this guy right here. <laughs> but also the most points in the league, in league history, scored by a Russian player in a season. Uh, again, beating a record set by this guy right here. <laughs> Are we watching probably the best Russian point player in history? Like, we're already watching the best Russian goal scorer. Are we now watching the best Russian playmaker? What a time to be alive. <laughs> now, as mentioned, this is his second Art Ross Trophy. His first since 2019, and the fourth in Tampa Bay Lightning history. The only other player in Tampa to win this award was Martin St. Louis, and he also won it twice. Now, if you want to break that 144 points down into points per game average, that's 1.77, so very close to two. Now, if he keeps this pace up, if he does this or something like this in 24-25, He'll be at 1,000 in no time. And remember, this is just in 725 games. It's pretty damn impressive, I, I would say. But in terms of the race and how it went, his 144 beat out McKinnon's 140. So he entered the last day six points ahead and finished at four points ahead. So it was a lock for pretty much the last month or so of the of the of the season and he played like he was on fire i mean that's that's the kind of hockey i like watching but that's just me so I'll wrap this up with a quick 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 little stat here he was one of nine players to hit 100 points for the 23 24 season Of that, that's his fourth 100-point season of his career. So, there's that. But, there you go. Your leading point scorer for 23-24. So, that's another one of Chess Hockey Shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think. I don't appreciate the gesture. Especially if you've made it to this point. And if you have, hey, that's awesome. I'm glad you did. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. You know you want it. If you haven't, or if you're considering it, hit that subscribe button. It'll help us both out, trust me. 
Otherwise, I got more coming. So in the meantime, and in between time, be looking for more videos on the trap. Later.